as chair of the West Virginia State University Board of Governors, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you here today. March 17, 2016 marked a milestone for our beloved state. We are celebrating 125 years as an institution with a rich, storied history. Today, we will add another chapter to our story of this place we love so dear. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge a number of individuals who have been instrumental in the search process to identify and select the 11th president of West Virginia State University. <clears throat> To my fellow board members, if you would please stand. Board of Governors, that's you, Gary. And do I need to call your name? Uh, Gary, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Thralls, Dr. G, my dear Gail, my dear, we call him Billy, and Paul. You truly. You know me, I take my time. We, we truly thank you for your dedicated leadership during your tenure on the board and throughout this search and the selection of a new president. You have truly demonstrated your unwavering commitment to West Virginia State University. Your pride, your passion are second to none. And to the Presidential Search Committee, members of that committee, might you stand? I see you, Diane, Dr. T. Ahmed, Dr. Ronke, and so forth. Thank you for your hard work and commitment. All right, y'all got to follow the script. When I clap, you clap. No. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work and commitment to reviewing candidate materials attending committee meetings, and engaging in thoughtful discussions. Indeed, there were many long hours, yet, yet you faithfully carried out your charge, followed the search procedure to find our future leader. Now we're going to applaud. <laughs> to Ashley, we are appreciative of your effective, efficient, and exemplary administrative support. You were truly the wind beneath our wings, assuring that we dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> and to Greenwood, Asher, and Associates, we express our deepest gratitude for your guidance, your professionalism, and your your thought of guiding us through a successful search. Let's clap for them. <laughs> and to Dr. Hemphill and your beautiful family who are joining us here today, for your incredible visionary leadership, we as the members of the state family are forever indebted to you. Please know that you will always have a place to call that place you love so dear. <laughs> this is an exciting day for West Virginia State. I think I was telling Dr. Jenkins and his family, I've been around here, Gary, 56 years. That's longer than some people are old in this room, Dr. Thross. But I truly love this place, and I don't think there's anybody that would doubt that. But we are student-centered, we have a passion for community service, and we continue our quest to provide access to higher education for all. When Dr. Hemphill first announced that he accepted a presidency at Rapid University, my first thought was, we have some big shoes to fill, maybe a size 13. <laughs> Indeed, Dr. Hemphill's visionary leadership has impacted every level of the campus community, the greater Kanoa Valley, and the state of West Virginia. 
after reading lots of resume, I thought sometimes it was hundreds, interviewing the finalists that included Dr. Anthony Jenkins, I knew we had found a person with exceptional qualifications who, most importantly, was the right fit for West Virginia State University. Dr. Jenkins is a Washington, D.C. native and a United States Army veteran, and we want to thank you. He has a background in criminal justice, sociology, policy studies, and educational leadership. He most recently served as Senior Associate Vice President for Student Development and Enrollment Services at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Dr. Jenkins has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice sociology from Fayetteville State University, a master's degree in criminology from North Carolina Central University, <clears throat> and a doctorate in educational leadership and policy studies from Virginia Tech University. We are so pleased to welcome Dr. Jenkins, his wife, Tonette, their gorgeous, beautiful daughters, Ashley and Alicia, to the state family. At this time, it is truly an honor and a privilege to introduce the 11th president of West Virginia State University, Dr. Anthony Jenkins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Good afternoon. This has been a, a long time coming. As I stand here before you, I feel truly blessed and honored and humbled, grateful to be selected the 11th president of West Virginia State University. I extend my deepest gratitudes to uh, the chair of the board, Governor Smith, to the chairs of the search committee, Governors uh, Pritchard and Lipscomb, and the entire search committee for your expressions of confidence in my leadership. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Chancellor Hill and the representatives of the Higher Education Policy Commission for their partnership, their unwavering support, and their commitment to West Virginia State University. I would like to acknowledge the outstanding students, the faculty and staff, the alumni, the community members, and the business leaders who engaged me thoroughly uh, throughout this process and displayed a level of pride and love for this university that deepened my desire to come here and serve as the next president. President Hemphill, you are leaving a profound legacy at West Virginia State University. I thank you for your extraordinary leadership over the past four years and your commitment to helping me successfully transition into this role. What you have done for this university over the past four years, coupled with the hard work of the Board of Governors, you all have provided state the opportunity to reach greater heights it is because of the work you've done. State is in a stronger position, and we thank you for your leadership and all your efforts. I would also like to acknowledge the president, chairman, and members of the foundation. I greatly appreciate their support throughout this process. Last, but clearly not least, to my wife and college sweetheart, Toinette. Thank you for all of your support, your strength, believing in our vision and your unconditional love. It's truly a large part of why I'm standing on this podium today. To Ashley and Alicia, my two commanders in chief, <laughs> who dominate all of my time, and I don't mind, 
because you are the greatest part of me. And I love all of you all more than words could ever express. So thank you for being here. I thank you and daddy loves you all very much. <laughs> to the Yellow Jacket Nation. I like saying that. <laughs> to the Yellow Jacket Nation. We can all recognize and accept that there are some challenges that lie ahead. These are challenges that will test our resolve and require us to meet the needs of our university and the students that we serve in unconventional ways. We must continue to think out of the box, be bold in our thinking and bold in our actions. To ensure we continue to move forward and build upon the momentum of the past several years, it will require the entire state family as well as our dedicated partners, investors, and those who have a commitment to this university to work collectively to address these difficulties. I speak confidently when I say the many challenges that we will face over the coming years, they will test us, but they will never break us. For over 125 years, state has seen its share of challenges, and through it all, we have kept our promise to our community and to the state of West Virginia, a promise to educated citizens to contribute to the cultural, social, economic strength of our region and state. When I think about the future of West Virginia State University, I am filled with great optimism, optimism that is deeply rooted in our storied history that has changed lives produce scholars, and have sent forth leaders who have changed the world. This feeling is reinforced by the outstanding faculty, students, staff, alumni, community members, business leaders, and all the constituents who support this university that I've met along my visits to get to this podium. Each member of the state family can and shall play a significant role in helping to develop a path forward that will keep us moving towards excellence. It is because of universities like State and its commitment to access, opportunity, and a quality education that I never give in to despair. As a first generation college student, my education has helped to evolve me as a person and have added value to my life and has positioned me to add to an educated citizenry. It has taken me across this great nation and beyond I have had the opportunity to stop at some of the best universities this nation has produced. And today I stand here ready to leave one of the greatest universities in this nation. And I thank you for that opportunity. <laughs> to be selected as the 11th president of West Virginia State University is an honor. Not so bad for the young man from the southeast side of Washington, D.C., one of four children raised by a single parent. Don't tell me that education is not a game changer. See, I believe a college experience should be inspirational, aspirational, and transformative. See, that's the education I received, and that's why I'm here today. That is the education that we will deliver every student that walks onto this campus. So when they leave here, they will go out, add to an educated citizenry, and they are equipped to sit at the table with whomever and change the world and address the issues that face our nation. That is what we will do at West Virginia State University. As the 11th president, my drive and my commitment is unwavering. It is important to me that I immerse myself in the campus as well as the community to listen and to learn. I am here to serve and lead this university into its next chapter. I will work daily and diligently to continue elevating West Virginia State University towards greatness. But this is not a journey that the president can take alone. The problems that we face cannot simply be solved by me or my title. It will require all of us to sacrifice, to compromise, 
and to commit ourselves to something greater than all of us. And no one, no one is greater than West Virginia State University, not even the 11th president. As I began my journey, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you, to having more intimate conversations, to listening to your ideas and your values on how we continue to make our university the best university it can possibly be. We will not only be the most student-centered teaching and land-grant institution in the state, we will be a model for how quality education is delivered. I thank you. I look forward to talking with you more. And I thank you again for selecting me as your 11th president. Thank you.